One of the known techniques used in mercury analysis is the flow injection, or commonly known as FIA. In FIA, both sample and reductant stannous chloride are drawn to mix in a reaction coil, where ionic mercury is reduced to elemental mercury. The elemental mercury is separated from the solution by a liquid gas phase separator before entering the detector. But this technique presents some challenges. The pre-chemically digested sample is acidic, therefore it tends to leave an acidic coating on the tubing inner surface. Mercury has natural high affinity towards acid, thus dissolves and retains its residue as it passes along the tubing. This phenomenon is memory effect. Even continuous flushing with deionized water or reagents does not remove all mercury residues. When the next sample introduced via the same tubing pathway that has traces of mercury from previous sample, it leads to a false high bias value. The test must be rerun. Now let's compare FIA with NIC's Discrete Direct Purge, or DDP. In DDP, our analyzer adds reductant directly into the sample solution. Ionic mercury reacts and reduces to elemental mercury. Clean air purges the sample solution. Elemental mercury separates from the sample solution. The acidic portion remains behind. It never aspirates to transfer in the flow path of elemental mercury. The elemental mercury is directed through a dry and inert pathway, proceeding straight towards the detector. Moreover, DDP technique consumes less reagents, thus less hazardous waste generated, making it more environmentally friendly to operate. In a nutshell, using discrete direct purge technique, you will get minimal memory effect and cross-contamination, environmental and cost-friendly analysis, and better reproducibility.